Hey everyone, it's Fantasia. So today I have a save file for you guys. I'm so excited because I feel like I have been searching and searching and searching for new save files. I have a crazy amount of save file videos on my channel. If you go to my save file playlist, you can find it on my channel homepage. There's like, I don't even know, over 60 in there or something. And so I always feel like I have no more to do videos on, but I came across this one. I was so happy. So this is the Unfadia save file. It has no CC and it's like fully updated. Not all the lots are changed, but a lot of them are changed. And you guys, Tomerang even has new lots. This got me so excited. So we can see this house over here. Well, this residential rental. And then this one over here. And there is Sims living here, which is so exciting. You can also see, of course, some of them are left, but this is just so exciting that it's this updated. When I noticed that, I was like, okay, we need to do a video on this. And look at Willow Creek. Are you kidding me? There's also some really cool stuff going on here. You can see this lot has three homes on it. And I don't know if this was done before for rent came out, but now you could actually turn this into a residential rental if you wanted to, because it's just set as residential right now. So you could go ahead and change that. Like even this one has two homes on it. So you could go in and just quickly set this, like set the different units and there you go. So that's really exciting. Look at the park. Everything looks so good. Look at this grand hotel. Like what? I don't know. I just fell in love with this and I was like, you're kidding. Look at Oasis Springs. Oh my God. Like I it just gets better and better. And you can see again, multi homes. So if you want, go ahead and change this with for rent. And it's just, it's so nice. I, I just, this is so creative. I don't know. I love, love, love. So Newcrest, incredible. Like even the library looks so good. I love the style of the bills. There's the whole freaking cinema, you guys. Like actually the way these houses look from map mode, I'm just like, okay, these are going to look incredible when you're playing. Like look at this. I feel like so many of these builds you could turn into residential rentals. You could make so, so, so much out of the save file, you guys, but I'm just going to continue clicking on the worlds while we do our notification shout out. So this one, it goes to Mercury Sims. Thank you so freaking much. Seriously. Like the video you commented on, those Sims have no CC. And so the fact that you still think they look cute, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shadow, all you gotta do is comment down below. So with that said, let's just go ahead and continue. I'm not gonna click on every single world because I really, really, really want to get into stuff. Oh my god, this save file has like a whole community. This is exactly we're going here. Like I almost want to go here first. I we might do that. <laughs> this is what I've been talking about. Every single time I'm doing like a discussion video about for rent, I keep mentioning how we can, you know, do even more with it. Like trailer parks and like make little communities. And if you don't know what I mean by that, I mean this, like multiple houses on one big lot. And I don't know, I just love the idea of that style of gameplay. And before with the roommate system, it just did not work how I wanted it to. And it was very stressful. And now with the new system, this will work exactly how I envision it to. So that's exciting. Del Sol Valley, we have this Del Sol body gym. This place, this is apartments as well. Like there's so many apartments, you guys. This is so fun. Like, I feel like this is the perfect save file for me to find at this time, like right after for rent released. Like, actually, perfection. I don't know if anything's done here. Like I said, some of the worlds, they don't have every single lot changed. Um, oh my god, look at this. It's a freaking yacht. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, I can't get over it. And even this library over here, this is so creative and cute. Like, I really like that. I never see people put libraries in Sulani. That's just never a thing that I find. Ooh, okay, we have this library over here. I mean, this save file makes me want my Sims to go to the library, which is something that I never have my Sims do like ever. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like that is definitely a plus. I don't know if anything's done here. I think this is different, right? I don't know. I never go in this world. I think this is different too. Oh, this is also different. Okay, you can see I haven't been here in a long time. And then we have Mount Komorebi. Ooh, look at this vacation rental. Love that. Ooh, okay. So I'm loving how that looks. Henford on Bagley. And guys, I'm getting too excited to just go look at stuff. So I'm just going to quickly run through these. This has changed, but there is some lots that appear to be the same and then some are different. And yeah, but for the most part, like a, a lot is changed, like a lot. So I can appreciate that. And it just makes me happy. Like the amount of work that went into this, you can just tell. Ooh, look at the new school. Oh my God, look at that parking lot. Stop it. Stop it. So then San Sequoia. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is like townhouses over here. We're going to have to look at that too. Every single lot that is like, um, you know, having multiple homes on it or apartment, I'm going to want to go straight there because, you know, you can go ahead and set it now as a residential rental. And that, that it just makes me so much more excited to look at lots like that. Ooh, look at this with the three barns. Okay. I like that. I haven't seen many safe aisles yet where Chestnut Ridge is done. So this is exciting. And then yeah, back to Tomering. So I I did say I was going to look at that community build first, but since this is the new world, I think maybe we'll actually start here and then we'll go ahead and go over there. So I don't, do we look at both of these? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like we should. <laughs> so I'm just going to go into here so we don't have to like choose a certain unit and we can just look at everything. You guys, I'm getting the urge to get like a wintry loading screen. Right now I just have like a classic purple one with this like more diamondy plum bob compared to the original plum bob, but I really want a Christmassy one because your girl is in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> so, oh my god, wait. This is beautiful. So we have this gorgeous pool area. Oh my god, this puts my build to shame. <laughs> like seriously. We have gardening back here. Cute. Okay, so heading down. Oh my god, there is a lot going on. Okay, no basement. You come in over here and there's not really much of a lobby area, but you have your um, mailboxes and then you can go up the stairs actually, or you can go into here, which is one of the units. So we have, oh my God, these are so nicely furnished. Like we have some of the for rent furniture being used, but then also a mix of other things. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So heading upstairs, I like the way this was done. I don't know. I feel like it's very neat. I feel like, isn't it just like one unit per floor? Oh no, wait, there's two. Wait. How do you, oh, there's another, oh, okay. Yeah, there's another set of stairs over here. Okay, so here's another entrance then. Oh, and then this is a, okay, yeah, I'm like messing everything up. This is a unit, this is a unit. Everything is actually smaller than I thought. I thought this was like one giant unit, but no, I was like totally ignoring the different colors, but okay. Yeah, I really like the way this is laid out. This is actually pretty smart. So then going up, yeah, so like this is a unit. Oh, the kid area, cute. Um, oh, I like this living room. Gorgeous. And then we have a nice spacious kitchen and not too big, but like, you know, a good amount of space. We have this unit over here. Ooh, I love just how everything flows. This bedroom is so cute. I love this new stuffy. Like, stop it. I just, I can't get over it. Um, okay. So I freaking love this. Oh, there's another floor. This is a big apartment. The kids' rooms, like they all have the little tiger stuffy in it and I just can't. This is for a kid and, and a toddler. Cute. Aw. Oh, I love the little balcony area. And then this one over here. Ooh, this one has like a big office. Ooh, I like, okay. This one has my favorite kitchen. Yes, this is, uh-huh. This is like, this is an amazing way to use the for rent kitchen items we got. Everything looks amazing. Like the way it all comes together is everything. Okay, this is adorable. Just have to point that out. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay, this is such a good build. We need to move on, but like, hello. It's such a good build. Okay, so I was gonna look at this one, but I think I just really, really, really wanna go to Brindleton Bay and head in here. So this is the Hound's Head Estates. So this, oh my gosh, like it would be so much fun. I need to use the save file for something because I just feel like it's actually perfection. Oh my God. Okay. How cute is this? I love it. Like I love all the plants in the middle and then, oh, some of the, they're, oh, actually this is like a pool everyone can use. Okay. So we have a public pool area and then we have bathrooms and then we have a park area. Oh, there's like so much stuff for everyone to do. This makes me happy. Okay. Oh, there's even like a dog area. Yeah. This is great. Like I, this is what I love about this. Okay. So they're actually not furnished there, but I like this. This is like the only time when I actually don't mind when lots aren't furnished. If it's like apartments with the new apartment system or something like this, I like that they all start off with like the necessities and then you can move Sims in and like furnish it based on, you know, those Sims lives, you know, their style. Yeah, there may not be much to look at right now, but this would be like, oh my gosh, you could transform this into like the coolest thing ever. Move all these Sims in and then just furnish everything based off that sim 
And yeah, I feel like you could have so much fun with this. Okay, so we have just so much to look at. Let's go to Willow Creek. And here we have some really cool lots as well. So there's this one here with the three houses, which is pretty interesting. So we might go there. And then I really like this Grand Hotel. I think we have to look at that. Also, look at this Fire and Ice nightclub. Like, excuse me? This park looks gorgeous too, but I just feel like there's so much more to look at that excites me even more. There's also two houses here like oh this is just too good i cannot we're just gonna go into actual live mode oh okay you guys so it's honestly not what i thought for this one at least i don't know about the other ones it's kind of making me want to go check to be honest because there's also, oh, I think it's the same dealio. Okay, this is a fake house. Honestly, what I would do personally, you guys, is literally copy this house over here. Like, <laughs> just make a copy of it. So this one, like, it's just this house that's the actual house. It, luckily, these are so simple to build. Like, it's literally just a rectangle. But yeah, like, you could upload this to your library and then just place it down two more times. Like you really could do that if you wanted to and then just like change the color so that it's not more work for you. And obviously you'd probably change some furniture or even just change the color of the furniture if you really aren't a builder and you don't want to be bothered to do that. I would have, cause like I said, this was definitely done before the for rent. So I can clearly tell why these are not functional. However, that like community one we just looked at, those obviously you can just straight away turn those all into residential rentals. But yeah, this one, you know, it's just kind of like pretend, but regardless, it gives you that idea. It gives you that inspiration. So that makes me happy. And you know, you could like separate all these Sims. You don't have to have them all live here, but you can also move two new, new households in here once you actually make these real homes. So there's a lot you could do there. So this family's cute. We have, aw, we, I love that they're <laughs> big mama Hodges. We have, uh, Sure. <laughs> we have Pop Pop, we have Leroy, and we have Cassidy. That's so cute. She's literally stuck. There you go, girl. <laughs> okay, so we have some good relationships going on here. They're all doing good. I love that it's like Big Mama Pop Pop. She keeps getting stuck. But anyways, you guys, this is cute. I, I like the idea. I'm glad that, you know, there's a lot of lots here that have like multiple homes on them. And even if they're fake houses, you can go ahead and turn them into real homes pretty easily. And it gives you the inspiration to do so, I feel like. So let's go ahead and look at this grand hotel because I'm really curious about it. First of all, this is insane. I love it. This is absolutely absolutely beautiful. The limo in the front and everything. These cars like this, I just love. Okay. Like super modern. There's a pool in the back. We got a hot tub. Cute. And then going in. Okay. So back here, it's a bathroom, but oh my God, look at this. Stop. So there's like a lobby area and then there's like a check-in desk, but it's also a bar here and we have bathrooms. And then we have like the hotel room starting. Like, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, you guys. I really hope we get hotels soon. Now that, like, the system is pretty much implemented, it's, like, all... See, I wondered if they were going to update, like, the vacation homes. Because you know how you can make rental homes, like, vacation ones? But I was like, you know, they're probably going to do that with hotels. And then you're probably going to need to buy the hotels pack to be able to have that functionality. That's what I'm imagining they're going to do. Like, I bet you that's exactly what's going to happen. So, I like the gym here. But yeah, now like the system's already implemented. So I feel like it's so much easier. And then maybe that means that hotels, like a pack for hotels would actually have a lot of gameplay. I also feel like they're going to do it as an expansion pack. I just see that and see us getting like a new vacation world. I love all these rooms. But yeah, do you guys see that happening? Like I 100% think it's going to happen. I just feel like it's very requested and them doing for rent, I feel like was a dead giveaway. <laughs> And with for rent, a lot of the budget went to this new system, right? So some parts of the expansion pack might feel like it's lacking, but then like the whole apartments are like flushed out and stuff like, you know, and now that's kind of done. I feel like, you know, they just need to obviously convert that to like vacation homes, you know? So like this is the vacation rental. And then if that's what they do, you're going to be able to set all those units as like 
set like separate and then sims like, are gonna be able to go on vacation oh my gosh and then it'll be like the sims 2 oh my god the sims 2 had such a good vacation pack like literally so good bon voyage and there was like multiple different worlds you could travel to like you know how we have like granite falls and stuff well with that one you had like your tropical vacation you could go to the campgrounds it was multiple different vacation areas like that anyways i'm rambling on but like um that it would be like that because you could stay at a hotel in that pack it was so good it was so good why why am i like for real tempted to look at the library like i feel like that's so boring <laughs> but like it looks like such a good library this gym too everything is like very modern also this is cool the cinema i kind of want to see what was done here i feel like i can kind of already guess what the, what it looks like with no cc Oh my god, the things people do though with like CC cinemas is insane. Do you think they'll do a cinema pack? Like I know we have movie stuff, but do you think they'll, I don't know, cause like they make a pack out of anything and like <laughs> I feel like we need like a movie theater experience. I mean they made a bowling pack and I know we have movie night, but it's not really like movie theater. Like they could do movie theater stuff and it could be like bowling night, but for the movie theater and it could be like an actual functional, properly functioning movie theater. I would be down for that if it was a stuff pack. Anyways, we have these here, you know, you pay, all that. This is cute. This is actually a little bit better than I thought it would be. Like, it's a little, we haven't even gone in yet, and I already feel like it's more fun. And then some, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, they went all out. This is like the fan, this is like the VIP. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed I have like, well, it's not right by where I live. It's a bit of a drive. But if any of you guys have a VIP cinema, oh my gosh, definitely like a more pricey like date night, but it is my favorite date night with my husband. You know, it doesn't happen often. So it's like, it's like special and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's such like a nice, and especially because there's like a restaurant area too, kind of like this and like a bar area. So you can go early and you can like get some appetizers. You can even get full meals, but like you can eat in the movie theater, like full meals like that. But yeah, it's just like this basically. And it's like 18 plus because you can drink there. They're not all 18 plus, but the one near me is. And then in the movie theater, they have like the l nice lounge chairs, like big recliner chairs. And it's like, you can also just get two seats on their own where no one else is beside you. So then it's like, that's like full on date night. You don't have to worry about like a bunch of people near you. And yeah, servers will come and ask you what you want. And it's like a full on menu, like alcohol, full meals, and you have space to eat in the movie. It's not like awkward. Like you have like a little table that you can pull out by your chair. Guys, if you don't have one where you live, big sad because I'm telling you, it's like the only movie theaters I'm interested in going to now because like I'd rather watch a movie at home. I love the way this was done. I know that, you know, the functionality of this, like there'll be like no one here. This is why I really would love to see them make like a, ooh, them make like a movie theater stuff pack. If anyone would want that as a stuff pack, please let me know. I feel like I can't be alone with that. I feel like movie stuff is just not the same that was kind of like for like an at-home like backyard movie okay so i feel like there's too much to look at with this safe file you guys i'm just like what the heck do i look at next do we go to sulani so sulani has this really pretty library and i don't know why it's calling to me this yacht is really cool too and like it's a vacation rental so maybe we'll go there as well but oh my god there's just like way too many lots in the save file that are making me excited to transform them with the for rent expansion and then making me excited for a hotels pack like it's gotta happen it's gotta happen okay so look at this cute library why is this giving lilo and stitch i don't know a lot of things in this world give me lilo and stitch I love Lilo and Stitch. Don't get me started. Monsters Inc., Lilo and Stitch, top tier Disney movies. <laughs> so good. This is cute. Like, this is actually cute. Oh, there's a little kitchen area. See, I would absolutely have my Sims come here and read or go on the computers. And it would, I don't know, this is like a better experience. I hate libraries in The Sims. Like, I just never have my Sims go there. But this feels like relaxing and peaceful and somewhere you want your Sims to go and read or go on the computer and bring your kids and they can draw and like grab a snack grab a coffee oh i like it i love it <laughs> i like it i love it <laughs> anyways um let's go ahead and look at a couple more lots i could i could sit here forever and just look at everything but i always try to look at one or two lots and eat, like at least uh, i don't know a handful of worlds there's too many worlds also look at this look what they've done to the sandbar i feel like that would be so nice do we look at this lot a uh, yacht i feel like 
I feel like we got to. Look at this. Look at how freaking cool this is. First of all, I love the use of this because it just seems so realistic, like these stairs going down to the boat. Oh my god, they did such a good job. You know, I'm glad you can build like quite a bit into the water on this lot because it does allow you to be really creative and make it look like there's a boat. I really wish we got houseboats. That was such a bummer when that didn't happen because like we had it in The Sims 3 and like I feel like so many people were hoping for that. Ooh, okay. I like this experience. This is gorgeous. Oh my god, I would even just turn this into a normal house. <laughs> like, that's so nice. Okay, so I think we gotta go to San Sequoia. Like, I just think that's always a must. And I'm curious about this. I'm gonna take a guess, maybe. There is nine bedrooms. Because that other lot, there wasn't any fake houses. The big community one. So I'm just wondering. There's also a vacation home over here. Okay, but let's let's go here. I'm just like curious about it. Also, the families haven't really been going over very much, but look how cute. They're so cute. Oh, yep. Okay, these are all functional. Yay! So yeah, not everything is pretend. So like now you can actually make this functional. This is so nice. <laughs> Okay, I actually love the way this looks. I was constantly talking about how San Sequoia is the perfect world to have townhomes because it's just, it gives me like Full House, like the show Full House. And I don't know, it just makes me want to put townhomes everywhere. Also, I don't know, have were those cars always there? Am I crazy? I don't know, I really like that. And those were always parked. Those were already parked there, right? I don't know. <laughs> but for some reason over there looks different with these. But let's go ahead and head in. Ooh, okay, these are cute. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, these are really nice. Is that supposed to be like food storage room? Like a pantry? Maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> like, I would actually put things in there. Like, I would get, like, CC food, to be honest, and actually make that look like a pantry. So if that's what that is, then, I mean, I'm down for that. I love these. I just love the idea of having my sims live like this. Aw, look at the infant room. Cute. So cute, you guys. Ooh, this kid room's cute as well. Okay, I love it. I love it. And I think with that, this is going to be the last lot that I look at. There is so much more to the save file, you guys. So definitely give it a download. I'm going to have it linked down below and look through it for yourself because, oh my goodness, there's just so many things. There's so much going on with the save file. I cannot believe there's already stuff done in Tomering. This is so cool. Like, what the heck? But yeah, with that said, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.